So today I'm going to show you exactly how to edit an entire video all on your phone using CapCut. Let's jump in. First things first, you just want to open up CapCut. If you do not already have CapCut, that's available wherever you get your apps from, whether you're on an Android or iPhone. I'm on my iPhone. And when you first open it up, it's going to ask you to sign in. So I'm just going to log in with my Google. And once you're signed in, it'll take you to a screen just like this to edit. Now, of course, there's a free plan that has some limited capabilities, but you can also upgrade if you'd like. And they usually have some sort of trial version that you can try out as well. But for the purpose of this, we're going to start with a brand new project. You see across the bottom, they have some templates and they have some pre-built things. I'm going to show you how to do this completely from scratch. So we're going to click at the top on new project. And it's going to open up and it's going to ask you for the files that you want to use. And so I just have a couple of clips here preloaded. But one of the things that I would recommend is before you actually drop those into your timeline to start editing, you could do a little bit of pre-editing in this screen here. So I have a clip here and I want to cut this down before I ever drop it onto the timeline. So I'm going to click on the trim button. So we click on that and you can see you have a preview window here at the top of what you're seeing. And then down below, you could see the white line moving across, showing you where you're at in the total video clip. And on each side, you see the yellow bars. What you want to do is you just want to click on the left side, bring that one in to where you want it. And I just want to get it right to where it starts moving again. And then on the out, I'm just going to bring that in just a hair. And then you click on the bottom right hand corner. There's a check mark. You click on that. And now you can see that has been edited. There's a little icon down in the bottom left hand corner of that clip showing a little scissor icon showing that it's already been edited. Okay. Now we can go through and check the other boxes here that we want. Now, the one where I'm talking, I'm going to unselect that just for now. And you'll see why here in just a second. So we're going to add all of these clips in. So you click the add button and now we're in the timeline view. And this will be familiar to you if you have done entity editing on your computer in any traditional sort of editing software. If not, totally fine. I'm going to show you how to use this. OK, so what it has done across the bottom here is you can see it's added in all of those clips in sequential order. So you have all the clips that I had selected dropped in here. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to edit all of this, what's called a roll, your primary footage. So let's say I want to start with this shot of my desk. So I'm just going to tap and hold it. And then you can see it's sliding across the other clips. And we're going to drop that right at the beginning. Okay. So now that is the start of the clip. And much like the other screen, we can also edit in this. So if I tap it, you can see we have some white lines here showing you where the clip starts. So I want to just kind of scroll over, see where it starts moving, tap the white line. And as I slide it over, we can drop it right on where I wanted it to start. And then below the preview button, you see there's a little play arrow and you can play that in real time and see exactly what that looks like. And maybe this clip goes on a little long. So I want to pause that there. And again, grab the white bar, drag it over, and we want it to stop, say, right about there. Just above the timeline to the left, you see the time. So we're at six seconds in of a 27 second clip, which is perfect. That's right where we want it to be. So then we go from that clip into that clip, and that's all good. And then maybe I want this shot of my microphone interspersed in there. So we're going to, again, click and hold that drag that over between those two clips and release. And again, I want to just bring that clip in a little bit. And you can see when I drag that clip, it's dragging that second clip over. So it's moving that with it. So there you go. Now we can go back to the beginning and we can just take a look at this, hit the play button and you can see exactly what it looks like. Now you see at the end of this clip, CapCut adds in their own branded card there. You can just tap on that and hit hit the delete button and it'll remove that. Now, what I want to do, if you remember, I had the, the little clip of me talking. We're going to add that in as an overlay. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here, find the spot that we want the overlay to go into, click add overlay. And now what we want to do before we add this in is we're going to trim this clip. So we're going to click on trim. 
grab the yellow bar, slide it to the right to where I begin talking, and then we're going to take the end clip, slide it to the left to where I stop talking, and then click the check mark, just like we did before. Now we're going to click on Add, and it's going to add that in as an overlay. Now one of the things that's a little screwy about CapCut is the overlay is actually under the primary footage on the timeline, but you can see up in the preview window, it is in fact on top. I don't know why they do it that way, but you can think of the timeline as A on top, B, and it kind of goes down that way, but that, that is just the way that they're set up. So you can preview that back, make sure that's the way you want it. Now, one of the really neat features that CapCut has already built into this is we can remove the background footage, okay? So while you have that clip selected, across the bottom, there's a whole bunch of different tools here, but what we're looking for is remove BG, remove background. So you click on that and then you click on auto removal and you see it is detecting my body and my face and it's removing everything else. Takes a second to do that. And then once you see that that's the way you want it, you just click on the check mark and that is done. Now in the preview window, I can move that around or resize it. Maybe I just want to bring me down right there and we play that back and you can see now I am in front of that background as it moves through. So pretty cool feature that's just built right into there. So now that we have the video kind of cut up the way that we want it, now we're going to add some other elements to really dress it up. So first we're going to add a title. All right, so we're just going to find the spot that we want the title come in and maybe it's right about here. And you can see on the timeline, again, it's sort of in reverse order here, but you see add text. So we're going to click on that. And then you have a whole bunch of different options here. They have auto captions, text templates, but we're going to just start with add text. I'm going to write in the Andy show. And then we're going to change the font. So you can see they've got some different fonts here. And I like, maybe we'll do that railway they have here where you can press and hold that to add that to your favorites if you'd like. Now you can see that makes it a little bit smaller. So we're just going to resize that up just by dragging the corners of it. Okay. You can even tilt it, go to an angle, whatever you want, but we're just going to do size that up. And then I'm going to grab the whole clip and slide it down kind of into that empty space there. Now you've got some styles that you could add to that. So let's add a kind of a cool style here. You got some effects that you could add. So maybe we want that kind of glow there. And then animations. This will be how the text behaves once it's on the screen. So we have a couple of options. Let's do this gold dust one here. I'm gonna add that. You can see it kind of sprays it in there, bubbles presets, a ton of different options there. So we have it the way we want it. We just click on the check mark and then you can go back and you'll see exactly what this looks like. There you go. So now we've added some titles at the beginning. Very easy. Next, I want to add some music. So while we're in the timeline view, I'm just going to tap the timeline up here and then we're going to add audio. Lots of different options, but we're just going to go add music. And we're going to go, let's add some happy music. You could add some different descriptors here, whatever you want, TV, all right? And then you generate. Now it's going to generate some music based on your selections that you made there. Okay, so we're just going to wait a few seconds. Okay, now you can tap on that to preview it. I like that. Let's just go with that. So we're going to hit the plus sign. And that adds it in there. The music's a little loud for my speaking. So we're going to tap on the audio. We're going to go to volume. We're just going to bring that down, let's say to about 25%, 24. To show you the capabilities of Click the check mark again. And now we have some music. So maybe I want to bring that in just a little bit earlier. So we're just going to click and drag that. About the time that the title comes in, right there. Okay. Then that comes across the clip. And of course we don't want it to go extend past the clip. So we're just gonna go down to the back, drag the clip, just like you do the video, and drag that to the end and there you go. So now that's gonna go there. And then what we wanna do is rather than it cutting off abruptly, we wanna add a fade. So you click fade, you go fade out, 
select the duration that you want it to fade. So let's say we want to just do two seconds and then fade in, we'll do another two seconds. Just slide over, show you what it sounds like at the end. So now we have the audio fading out. I want to add the video fading out. So we're just going to go to animations and you can see we got in, outs, and maybe we just want to use this old TV effect, right? So then it shuts off like that. Perfect. All right, now maybe we want to do something different for the opening. So again, let's click on the first clip. Let's go to animations and let's go to the ends. And how about this newspaper? Let's click on that and we'll hit the check mark when we're done. And now we have this effect. Okay, so now the video is really starting to shape up. Do a little preview here. Hey, this is just a test to show you the capabilities of editing within. Now what we want to do to even make this pop even more is to do some color grading. Now you can do this on the individual clip level, or you can add a filter to the whole thing, which is what we're going to do just so it all kind of looks all uniform in that. So what we're going to do is we're going to, as we have the whole timeline selected, we're going to scroll over to filters, click on filters, and then you can kind of look through all of these. Got an Oppenheimer filter, some green orange, all these kind of different effects. Find the best one you want. You know what, going with what we have, let's try this Oppenheimer filter. So we're gonna select that. You can see it changed the look of that a little bit. We're gonna click on the check mark. And now we have this filter over the whole thing. So the filter stops right there. So you could do it for just the one clip or you just stretch this all the way across so that it's over everything. And you see, by adding that filter on top of me and the background clip, it even starts to blend everything together even better. What you can do, once you kind of get it the way that you want it, you can see over kind of the middle of the screen to the left, there's a little icon to zoom in. And you can look at this in the full frame of your phone. So you can get a better idea of what it looks like, if all the sizes are right, if everything's the way you want it to be. So once the video is the way that you want it, you want to look up at the top and you see export. We're just going to click on the export button and it's going to prepare everything ready for you to export. So you can see here, I did add a couple of pro features in there that are marked by the little diamond up in the corner of the screen. So I'll need to sign up for the pro account to be able to render that out. And once it's rendered, it saves on your camera roll and then it's ready to do whatever you want. You can email it to friends, text it, or post it to your favorite social media account and it's all ready to go. Hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one.